Hello everyone, welcome back to Soap by Dennis. My name is Dennis and today I'm showing you guys how to make an Arctic Aloha and Clover Soap with a drop swirl. So I've got my light solution ready. It's got some Tassa silk fibers in it and now I'm adding my uh, sodium lactate just to firm up my bar. Now the Tassa silk um, will thicken up your light solution a little bit or I'm, I'm not sure it's thickened up, it's just that the, the silk fibers which are mostly dissolved um, will make it a little bit almost it almost looks a bit gelatinous uh, once you pour it through the sieve and um, so I just like always use a sieve just to be sure that there's no um, undissolved lye or, or big fibers um, that I don't want in my soap obviously um, so it just takes a little bit more patience and then you get it all in and it works just fine so now I'm um, I reached um, reached emulsion and I'm separating my batter into three equal portions um, because I want to use three colors. I'm going to be using white, um, titanium dioxide, I'm going to use black, which will be activated charcoal, and I've got a mica, um, like an, uh, a turquoise mica that I'm um, using as like a nice pop of color into this soap. Um, and I'm such a fan of um, turquoise, so I really wanted to combine it with some black and white for some heavy contrast. So, um, so I, I my activated charcoal was dissolved into some olive oil um, and I created almost a thick paste um, so that it would be easier to blend into my oils. So I really want to get a nice white color so I'm adding a little bit more titanium dioxide. Um, it's always hard to tell um, how much how white it'll get uh, until you stick blend um, but this only happens when you use water soluble titanium, titanium dioxide which is what I use since I haven't been able to find an oil soluble one yet and I want to use up what I have and it works just fine it's just I do have to stick blend otherwise it will not mix in very well so I'm trying to reach like a, a light to medium trace for this pour because um, otherwise the colors will blend in with each other too much so as you can tell I'm not sure if you can see it it's it's like it's definitely reached trace it's not just emulsion anymore so I started with white, then I added my black and then my turquoise and now I just keep repeating that and I'm pouring from a little bit higher just to make sure I really get a drop swirl and so that I don't just get the colors on top of each other. And now I'm almost reaching the end of my batter. Uh, I always try and leave a little bit in my um, measuring cups just in case I want to do something with the top at the end because I'm always very unplanned when it comes to this these things I just go with how it goes and then I decide uh, once I'm pouring um, what I'm gonna do at the end or in general actually <laughs> I mean I have I have a general idea of how I want my soap to look like but then um, you just never know how it's gonna go if your better gets too thick or sometimes you just have to improvise <clears throat> So now I can't, uh, at the end, there's no point trying to drop swirl anymore because it's just about um, getting the rest of the colors in there on top of each other, <clears throat> smashing it out just to get rid of any air bubbles. So let's get those last bits out because I don't want to waste any soap. I, I never get my, my cups fully clean, um, but... I get, I get most of it out. So. I didn't tighten um, my screws well enough. So every time I smashed my soap, uh, the little dividers um, popped out a little bit at the bottom. Um, but thank God my um, the lining of the freezer paper is very, like a very well constructed. So nothing can pour out. It's just... Um, yeah, I just need to watch my screws better and tighten them up. I just did a simple topping with the back of a, a fork, as you can see. And it's one of those toppings that lots of soap makers use. And I just think it's a very effective top and I really like it. So it's the next day and my soap went through gel face. Um, I see popped my soap, which means I put it in the oven that was preheated to the lowest setting. And I turned the oven off and left it in there overnight with the light on. So let's gut this baby. As always, I first um, cut off the end piece, 
because um, yeah, it's never very smooth, and I it just needs to go. And it's the perfect little size uh, to do a little test after a couple of days, just to see how the how the soap um, lathers and. Uh, because I don't use the full bars until they're done curing, generally. Um, I just use those little end pieces for a little test. And I am loving, loving the look of the inside. I literally, I'm so sorry, I really don't mean to, um, I, how's that expression, like blow my own horn? Or I, I don't want to be arrogant or I'm just so insanely pleased with how this came out like the colors are perfect the black is black the white is white and the turquoise is just stunning um yeah i just till this day this is the favorite bar my favorite bar of soap that i've made and mainly because it's my absolute favorite color and i also love black um it's just perfect i i really really enjoy it and um I can't wait to use it now i know the latter will turn a little bit gray because of the amount of activated charcoal but I'm not, I, I really don't mind, um, especially because it doesn't, like, it doesn't leave any residue on your skin or, um, like, it's it's fine to use and it's skin safe and I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Now, this was a really fun cut to do. Um, so the last piece actually was a little bit thicker um, and I didn't want to just cut it the way I was going. So I just decided to turn the bar around and cut off the end. Uh, so this bar is a little bit thicker than the other ones and that's great because... At least I don't have to waste um, soap this way. So it's just very small slivers that I had to co cut off from both sides. And other than that, I've cut my full bars. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.